Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Now we're moving on down to verse 12. This is James chapter 1, verse 12, 13, 14, 15. Now listen to this. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted, <coughs> listen to this, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then, when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Now, yeah, let's go through that one, shall we? We all have to endure temptation. You know how the old expression goes, you got to serve somebody. Well, we all have to endure temptation because there are times when our bodies want to do, want to go left. And our spirit man says, no, you got to go right. But our body wants to go left. Now, if you don't chuck that desire and just <clears throat> immediately give in to what you know is right, you will end up contemplating, well, what would happen if I go left? Well, it wouldn't be that bad. I mean, it's not like I'm going somewhere else. I mean, I'm going to eventually work my way around there. Just kind of go around about. Wait, well, what if I give that guy a call and see if he could come and work on my car? I mean, I know he thinks I'm single. He doesn't know I'm married. And I know he kind of likes me. I kind of like him, but I don't want to cheat on my husband. But I sure like the attention. What harm could that do? <clears throat> well, I need a lot of information from the Internet. Another example. I need a lot of information from the Internet. I mean, where else am I going to get it? I need it, and I need it now. So I can't help it if they put naked women's bodies up there, and if they have sex acts, and they end up on my thing, and I click it by mistake, and I end up looking, and it's like, whoa, boy, I'm telling you, I have to really watch myself you know because it is kind of enticing i mean everybody does it i mean it's not like something that people don't do yeah and we end up rationalizing which gives us more permission to get deeper and deeper and deeper and in spite of what we know about god's ways and god's will we go left Then we rationalize why we went left. Then we blame outside circumstances and outside stimulus because it made us go left. If that hadn't been there, well, I would have taken care of business. See, <clears throat> you can't be tempted unless it's something that you like. Now, when I used to have, I had a... a I used to have a laptop years ago when I was still in the PC world. And um, no offense, I just don't have the hassles with Apple that I had with PCs. And I'm telling you, when I would click on the things, they would send little messages. And when I was ignorant at first, I would click on them. And I'd see, what, X-ray? Oh my goodness, I click off immediately. Now. I started getting to the point when I saw anything that looked like that, I would delete. I wouldn't open it. Even now, even now, <clears throat> I'm sorry. When people send me things saying, I love you, I delete. I totally erase and stop that person from being able to leave a message. There's no reason to entertain that. 
all they're trying to do, they're used by Satan to shove Satan's filth into our faces so that we will give in to temptation. But if you don't let temptation do its thing in your head, play a head game on you, it won't be tempting to you. So what you do is you don't give it any play. You don't give place to the devil, period. Cut it off at the neck. Don't look at it. I wonder what that is. No. Some of you men. Excuse me. I just ate. <laughs> anyway, some of you men, you're married. You you have children. You work, you take care of your family. But you have something pulling at you on that internet. And instead of you creating barriers and blocks and blockades and all kind of stuff to even stop from receiving that mess, it trickles in and you peep at it. And it trickles in and you peep at it. Ooh. And next thing you know, you're glued to the tube and you're under a trance and next thing you know you start acting on it you're drawn away of your own lust and lust has conceived because you have planted your eyes on something and you're giving it play <clears throat> you're giving place to the devil you didn't have to commit adultery. You didn't have to get hooked on pornography if you had just started ignoring it from the gate. You don't converse with the devil. You ignore him. You rebuke him. You resist him. You ignore him. You do whatever it takes. Tell your wife to get on the computer and wipe out all that crap. Tell her that you're getting weak, but don't keep giving into it. And whatever you do, don't hide it. <clears throat> when you play hide and seek, you're on the devil's turf. You're playing according to Satan's rules, not God's. See, God says, if you expose yourself, I'll hide you. But if you hide your sins and your mess, oh, I'll expose you may take time. You may think you're getting away, but one day, woo, all in your face, baby. Think about that next time you get lured away and enticed by your own lust.